All right. Hey, people, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, I've been planning this video for a week or two and debating how I should present it. And I was originally going to just wing it, you know, and talk, and get on camera and, you know, wing it and, and try to say what I wanted to say. And then the next step was I thought I was going to do an outline and, you know, wing it from the outline. But I found there's some things that I needed to say that I thought were really important. And I know from experience that I usually forget something or things, plural, when I do it that way. So I decided that the best thing that I could do is to write a letter to AWP, Adventures with Purpose, and just read it. And that way nothing gets left out that I wanted to say. All right? So, let's begin. Dear Jared, Doug, Nick, and the AWP team, I am writing this letter I'm presenting today on behalf of Kylie Rodney. I know that they have not come out with a verdict concerning whether this was accidental or foul play. But my gut feeling is that they are, as their track record shows, going to try to sweep this under the carpet and call it an accident. Deep down, you and I both know this was not an accident. I have 10 plus years in law enforcement. City street cop, county deputy, state police, and at the federal level as well. So I'm not just some crazy lunatic on a witch hunt or rant. You and I both know that this whole investigation has been a complete farce and they have screwed it up every step of the way. The fact is, you guys know a lot more than we do about this. You were there. You felt the vibe from various people and from the area. When law enforcement told you that you didn't need to search Prosser Reservoir, I could tell you were somewhat taken aback. In listening to Doug talk about it in the recovery video and also in the live stream interviews, I could tell from his tone that he knew that things were BS. I could tell he was biting his tongue and so badly wanting to say some things but couldn't. Guys... I know I'm a very small fish in a very large pond, but I do have a request for you guys. I know, as you said, that you have to work with law enforcement throughout the country, so you're cautious about stepping on toes and upsetting people. I fully understand that. But I also feel, since you were there and have additional information that none of the rest of us have, you have a moral obligation to Kylie to ensure that she gets justice. I think if you were to pray about this and ask God what you should do, or even ask your own conscience what you should do, I think you'd agree the answer is clear. Guys, the fact is, there are some things that are more important than money. There are many of us who believe that money is at the root of this whole scenario with Kylie. There is some very shady activity that's been going on and constantly being exposed that indicates there are more people in on this than we originally believed. There are, though, there are many of us who are not going to sit on the sidelines and allow Kylie to be used as a means of wealth. So that being said, here is my request to you. If law enforcement comes out and calls this an accident and tries to sweep this under the rug, as they have so many other cases, you need to release the other 90% of that interview with Nick, the service driver. You need to come forward with the additional information that none of the rest of us have. Keep in mind that there are many other law enforcement and retired law enforcement that have the same view of this investigation as me and my viewers and other creators as well. 
Any law enforcement agency that is not corrupt is going to be behind you. That being the case, I would not worry about exposing this sham of an investigation and bringing to light the additional information that is pertinent to the case. There are several of us, and I believe some additional retired law enforcement personnel who have YouTube channels, who are going to contact the Attorney General of California and have this investigation looked into and dissected in order to find the things that are amiss in this case. I have also previously worked for the U.S. Attorney's Office and will reach out to some of my contacts as well if need be. The information you have is pertinent to the case. If all of this is one big cover-up, you and I both have a moral obligation to bring that to light and expose it for what it is. I really hope that somehow this can reach you. There are many of us who are counting on you to come forward if and when the time arises they deem this an accident or anything other than foul play. Thank you for all you do and keep doing. Let's all assemble and find justice for Kylie. She never got the chance to experience college or have children or have a family or pursue her dreams. She deserved better, and she did not deserve to die. Guys, you need to step forward and help us ensure she gets the justice she deserves. Thanks, guys. Take care. Sincerely. Those who care.